Hi everyone, my name is Gaurav and welcome to my channel GTEC Funda. Today I will be showing you the most important sub language of SQL that is DQL or data query language and how to use select clause in a DQL. Almost it covers 90% of its syllabus so today it's not going to finish although I will be telling few important things in DQL. Okay so let's get started. Okay, so today I'm telling about DQL. In SQL, DQL is used when we will be retrieving data from a table. What is a table then? The data in an RDBMS is stored in a database object which is called a table. I've showed in my previous video that how are tables arranged in a database i'll be showing it today also today in the practically in the sql server i will be showing you how is what is a table but for now i'm just telling you theoretically okay this table is basically a collection of data entries and it consists of numerous columns as well as rows okay what we are using here is oracle tng database and in it will open as scott username why we are using scott username it is because some inbuilt tables are already there in scott username and we need to use these tables in order to retrieve data you can make your own table but uh, if I tell you how to create a table now, it will be a problem for you to understand. So how to create table, I will be explaining it later. For now, we will only use the inbuilt table that is present in the SQL server. Okay, so firstly, I will show you that how, what are the tables present, inbuilt tables present in the in the SQL uh, database we will be showing this one that the query query how to get the SQL how many tables are there in the SQL is like select star from TAB okay okay I'm just uh, opening the SQL server see here this is my this is my SQL server okay I'm just uh, showing you okay just a second okay here I have cleared the screen so it will be easy to show you nicely so what I will do is like I will show you that what's the what's the real uh, query to get in the what are the tables present in the sql server this select star from tab that is table select star from tab semicolon always uh, never forget to put this semicolon because if you don't put this semicolon this this query will not in uh, sql understand uh, whenever you put this uh, semicolon SQL understand this is the end of the query and uh, and this star means star means the whole whole means the all the all the tables present in this server it will be showing this one okay let's see how many tables are present see these are the four inbuilt tables department employee EMP bonus cell grade and these three are those which I have created by my own. So when you will be installing, you can see only these four uh, inbuilt uh, tables. So let's start with, uh, let's show you something. Okay, mm, like here we will be seeing that I will be showing you that how, how to fetch a query, how to do a query for employee table, this EMP table okay like every time you will be using this select clause because select clause only helps you to do query so 
so select star again we will be uh, writing here star because we want to see the whole employee table so select star from emp as we know that sql is a case sensitive it doesn't whether you write here um, whether you write here emp or capital emp doesn't matters to it it will still give the same result okay this is the format this is something which will this is the employee table so this is how it looks this is the whole table these are the these are the entities employee number e name job these are the entities and these are the attributes these are the attributes these are the attributes of this column so so you might have got what is a table right now and after this i am showing you that this this thing set lines 200 and pages 200 you always remember whenever you open a sql uh, a sql database it's just showing like this okay i'm just closing this sql and again i'm just opening this one you will i'm opening this one i'm putting my so now i'll be again putting that same query select star from emp i will see that those things which i saw in the previous queries in a particular order i can't see those things in a particular order so in order to bring the all these these uh, these tables in a particular manner or particular order we need to set the page pages 200 or we you can you can write page size also okay i'm showing you page size 200 uh, line line size 200 now again when you will put that select star from emp okay i did some mistake i think p now you can see this in order so always remember to set the lines and pages and lines so that it you can display the query in a uh, in a good way so that it's easy for you to understand now i will show you i already showed you that how to retrieve the whole employee table and uh, okay what is the use now i will be telling you that what is the use of this select clause and where where do we use this select uh, select clause generally this select clause has the three major major importance in which it is used that is for projection selection and joints projection what is a projection is selection of a particular column according to our need using select clause like here there are many columns suppose i want to display only e name to my user only i want the user to see the e name or i want only to show his job or i want only this e name and job to show him so in that case in that that case we have we can use this select clause to particularly show uh, to the user this uh, this m uh, this e name as well as this job these two only columns so projection is the selection of a particular column according to our particular columns or column according to our need using select clause like like i'm showing you practically that how it works okay select e name E name from emp table okay enter c 
I can see only the e name. Only okay. Now I'll be showing you that how to how to type two different columns or how to show two different columns. That is select like I want to show e name. That is the employee name as well as the salary. Okay. B M P. You have to use always the the column name same as what is here in the here. Otherwise, it will show error here. Like sal. The case of the it is as it is case sensitive. It doesn't matter whether you write in small letter or in capital letter or in mix. Doesn't matter. So so now it will be showing only the e name as well as salary. See this e name and salary. This is how we can display two different uh, thing um, according to our need. We can show it to the user. So after this, I've shown this already to you that uh, how to show the e name and salary from the employee table. You might be thinking that why are we writing here e name? Uh, not employee name because because the user can't understand that e name what is e name so we can alias a column now what I am going to tell is uh, aliasing column name what is aliasing is we can alias a column name with different name which will be feasible for the user to understand in a better sense which gives it a but better meaning to for the user to understand like here the user can't understand what is the meaning of e name so we can display e name as emp name so that the user it's easy to for the user or that in employee name easy to understand for the user without affecting the original table so now you might be thinking that why did uh, why did the developer uh, didn't write e name in place of employee name the reason for writing such a big name is both waste of memory as well as waste of time uh, and it is not feasible that whenever you will be writing a query so you have to type such a big name every time so it's not possible to write such a big name so to make things short uh, em employee name was written e name so so whenever you want to alias this name e name to employee name or emp underscore name so that the user can understand we can display in like this uh, i'm showing you that how to alias a name that is right i'm just given a question you can uh, write these queries so that it's easy for you to learn later so write a query a uh, write a query to retrieve e name and salary and alias e name as employee underscore name and sell as salary so i'm just showing you that how aliasing happens like select E name as EMP underscore name comma cell cell as salary. okay see the e name what what was e name now changed to emp underscore name and what was sal was changed to salary so you can ch uh, 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 change the column name by this way you can it's easy for the user to understand so you can write in this way again one more important thing is that even if you miss this as keyword it will does it will not affect uh, it will not affect anything so again I'm showing uh, this query okay that select select e name just you have to 
give a space and just write emp underscore name whatever according to your choice you can give which is user for the which is helpful for the user to understand it's according to your choice cell the space salary okay i did i think there is okay here i have done mp so it will be emp c it doesn't as as keyword doesn't affect but here you can use as it's up to your choice so mm, so this is how as you can use alias a uh, name to some other name according to your choice whenever whenever like here like here the like here the employee name employee e name here it is written in capital letter you will want it to change in small letter or it if it was written in small letter you want to change in capital letter then you have to do is like you have to write the query like this select e name space double code emp slash e name from emp then you will get the uh, I am showing you how it will be select name space emp underscore name name okay okay see this here emp the name has is changed in a small uh, lower case so whenever you change to, uh, want to change it to a lower case you can uh, do this query and just you have to put this to single uh, to double code in there and you will get uh, you can alias it to its lower case this is all in my second class thank you for watching if you like the video please like comment subscribe in order to get more videos